ah, team. So the problem space of IPFS and websites ended up being around four billion pages, plus or minus big. So the group ended up emerging on the topic of search as a bit of interest for us. Some of the problems, things are hard to find, hard to discover, hard to index, hard to disambiguate one thing from another thing, and how to incentivize people contributing to a distributed index or contributing their responses. You want to talk a little bit about indexing? <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so I guess search is a, is a big problem, like you said, and it helps to make it smaller by thinking about ways we could create an index that could provide search results. Um, so we sort of broke it down into three categories, although there's a lot of shotgun spraying of ideas. Uh, Active indexing is like I, as a content creator, uh, do my part in providing keywords and creating indexes. Uh, passive indexing, an idea that I think you had, right, where you sort of, based on your browser history, um, things that you opt into can collect an index along the way. And then this third category, which I don't really know what it totally means, but one idea is to kind of create marketplaces for a search um, and economically incentivize people or groups of people to make indexes. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it unless you have. I would love to hear your explanation of dystopian indexes. So uh, our, our third form of index is the dystopian one. When your computer is observing everything, so if not only it's collecting your browser habits, but it's looking at your playlist and can detect like breakup songs and like offer you wine, that kind of stuff, which might come in handy. Next slide. And we are also launching our product, which is Snuggle, which is a search engine for, is this snake poisonous? And the answer is always yes. <laughs> Because that's never a bad answer for that question. <laughs> Thank you.